Hello folks, welcome to Terrain Tronics. Uh, I'm David. On this short video we're going to show you how to use a wire wrap tool. These are used to wrap wires around component legs really, really efficiently, really strongly. In fact, the bonds you make with these are often stronger than what you can do with, uh, with solder and so on. So this is a Vectec CB30M. You know, these are available from Amazon for about uh, $15 pretty reasonable um, and you can get a lot of use out of them. Nice thing with these is you can use them without a soldering iron so you know you're not going to burn your fingers or anything like that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up this LED. Uh, this LED has two legs on it and the long leg is normally positive. We can test that by putting it in this LED tester. This is a five or six dollar Amazon purchase. Links below and look at that when I push the button the LED comes on. Beautiful. Okay so First things first, I need to strip a little bit of this wire. Now this wire is all, also from Amazon. It's a 30 AWG, so it's very, very thin. But because we're driving LEDs with not a lot of power, we don't need the wire to be very thick. So we use the integrated uh, wire stripper there, and we strip a little bit of wire. That wasn't too difficult. And then, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, in the end of the, uh, the wire stripping tool, you want to insert the metal and you'll see it kind of pop up right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm trying to do this and watch the screen at the same time. Forgive me. All right, we're going to put it back like this now. This is red, so it's going to go to the positive. So it goes to the longer leg of the LED. I'm going to insert that down there. Now you watch this, you ready? Twist, 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 twist. Let go. And look at that. I have now made a connection to the anode of this LED. Okay, now I need to do the same for the for the black wire. Let's do that real quick. You'll see, you'll see this is actually faster in some cases than soldering, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll pop this in here. Okay. Bear with me, sorry. Now for the cathode. On it goes. And twist, 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 twist. Look at that. We now have both wires. Try and get it in focus. Both wires tightly put on there. I can actually cut these legs now. And this LED is now ready to be glued into our terrain. Now the alternative to crimping uh, onto proper little crimp connectors and something that just dawned on me is that because these Harlech Castle boards have regular pin headers you can use the inverse header which is one of these female ones and slot it on like that. And because you've got these pins hanging in the air we can wire wrap around these. So let's try that real quick. This outside row is all 5 volts so they're all red and this is our red connector. So let's uh, trim it just a little bit more. We fold it back into our right wire wrap tool. Ready? This pin goes down in here. Oh, hold on. There we go. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, voila. Now let's bring that up and zoom in. Look at that. That is, apologies for my fingernails, but that is a very good wire wrap. That's not going to short against anything. So that's ready to go. That's pretty cool, I think. So let's, uh, let's add one onto its friend here. Hold on. So that's going to be the red side. And I'm actually going to cut this off. And we'll... Here we go. There's a bit of wire wrap on there. I'm going to give it a bend so we can get it into the tool a little easier. And let's fix the zoom. Sorry, guys. There we go. In this goes like that. It's ready. And let's attach this to the first one. Can you guys see that? Yes, you can. Twist, 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 twist. Take it away. 
and I go, that is going absolutely nowhere. Like I'm tugging on it, it's going absolutely nowhere. So at the end of it, you could actually, once you've done all of these, you know, cut these down very, very easily. And then you have something that with a spot of glue together, you could very easily keep this as one terrain plug on and you're ready to go. I think that's pretty cool. Um, stick around for more. Uh, this is Rochi from uh, Terraintronics signing off. Let me know what you think. Cheers, guys. Bye.